this little exercise shows the, the effect that a very, very small difference in cubal height uh, where you're striking makes a substantial difference in cubal position, resultant cubal position. We've got the book placed in front of the white ball here. All pages folded flat in front of the white ball. That gives approximately a uh, centre ball strike. Let's see where the cue ball finishes. And important to note here that the cue is finishing flat on the book. Look. We'll blow this up just uh, a little bit more. There we are, just to make sure I'm not doing any cheating. So I've just marked that red there where the cue will finish, just have a look at that. See where the white's finished, I've just put that second red on the table. So this is our... round is it? That might be a bit better. So that's our target, not our target red, but that's our marker red. Yeah, I was just, yeah, I'm just saying here that I've made a chalk mark in front of the book so that the cue ball is starting from exactly the same angle of shot and also it only counts as a reliable <coughs> scientific experiment if the red ball goes in the middle of the pocket. If it goes one side of the pocket or other the angle has changed therefore the cue ball uh, direction will change even if you hit the cue ball perfectly height and speed wise if your aiming is not right your cue ball position will be different from what it would be with a centre pocket shot. Same height again, flat through the ball Tip touching the paper as you go through. Okay, that was about to cannon the red, and just about half quarter ball maybe. Again, cannon on the red. What I'm doing here is just moving a few pages. And let's just go back there. That's about four pages, which is less than half a millimeter. About 10 pages is one mil, 12 pages. And you can see that the cue ball, look at that. What's that, five inches? Six inches away from the uh, original line. Let's play another one. Again, the tip has uh, remained flat and the, uh, the cue is still in contact with the book. Okay, that one's four inches away. So now I've gone steeper with the cue. You can see there's a slightly steeper angle of the cue. Down there. Let's see where the cue ball goes this time. Again, the uh, cue's still in touch with the book uh, at the end of the delivery. Look at that. Look at that. That's an extra three inches. A little bit steep here. Will it go deeper? Probably. Yeah, look at that. It's hit the major of the middle pocket. It is incredible. What a difference being very slightly 
not consistent will do for your cue ball destination. We've gone there from a player perhaps who unconsciously uh, changes the height of the cue from shot to shot. Look at the difference you get. You will never be consistent with the cue ball unless the cue is at the same height, unless you hit where you're aiming on the cue ball, unless you go consistently through the cue. Cue ball in, in, a, in, a, in a flat uh, delivery or as flat as possible. But the same every time, that's more important. More than important than perfect is consistent. <clears throat> but it helps to be uh, accurate if that action is flatter, straighter, more reliable, more um, almost robotic. You want to be able to press a photocopy button and get the same result on every shot you play. So do some practice with the book in front of the cue ball and watch your cue ball consistency improve.